this week on The Wire. Labor changes gearing policy, NAB tips 20% price rises, and Tassie leads economic growth. G'day guys, my name is Tim Guest, and welcome to The Wire, the week in real estate, where you can get all the top stories happening this week in real estate, finance, investment, and more. So kicking it off with our top story for this week, Labor changes their negative gearing policy. So the property industry has welcomed the ALP's announcement that it will not change the rules on negative gearing and capital gains tax should it get in government. Now the federal shadow cabinet has committed to maintain the existing arrangements after Labor's policy to scrap negative gearing and raise capital gains tax was a major issue at the past two federal elections. Now opposition leader Anthony Albanese says the commitment will provide certainty and clarity to Australian working families. Now, the Property Council has welcomed the move, noting that previous policies would have hurt the economy, cost jobs, and also had little impact on affordability. Master Builders CEO Donita Warren says the move is good news for the building industry, the economy, and the community. Now, looking back at modelling done by Deloitte Access Economics, it found that Labor's previous policy would have reduced gross domestic product by $1.5 billion, shrunk the construction industry by three quarters of a billion dollars, and failed to improve affordability. Now, guys, moving on to our next story. So NAB tips, NAB that is, tips 20% price rises. So NAB has raised its price growth forecast, tipping rises averaging 18.5% across the capital cities this year. Now the bank has upgraded its expectations for most cities, with Sydney to rise 21.6%, Melbourne 17.6%, Brisbane 19.5%, Adelaide 17.4%, Perth 11.6%, and Hobart 23.5%. But the NAB report forecasts only moderate growth in 2022, with rises around 4% across the capital cities. In April, the bank predicted Sydney prices would rise only 6% this year, 5.5% in Melbourne, 6.2% in Brisbane, 6% in Adelaide, and 5.6% in Perth. The report says NAB has revised up its forecast based on the faster than expected growth in prices over recent months. Now, from here, we see the monthly pace of growth slowing, but continuing at a solid rate. Now, the current lockdowns are expected to have a sizable impact on the economy, but the impact will be transitory. It says we remain optimistic that as restrictions are eased, activity will rebound, as has been the case in previous lockdowns. Now, guys, moving on to our final story of the week, Tassie leads economic growth. So Tasmania continues to lead in the latest Comsec State of the States report, while Queensland and WA show the strongest momentum moving into the second half of 2021. That's largely due to internal migration. Now, the report finds that for the sixth quarter in a row, Tasmania is the best performing economy. It led on four of the eight indicators, population, growth, equipment, investment, employment, and dwelling starts, and ranked second on another two indicators. However, there is little to separate the other states and territory economies. Victoria was second, ACT third, South Australia fourth, New South Wales fifth, WA sixth, Queensland seventh, and Northern Territory in eighth. Now, ComSec Chief Economist Craig James says it's important to note that all states and territories are performing solidly. That is no small feat in an environment dominated by COVID with frequent lockdowns and border closures. Well, guys, they are the top stories happening this week. Now, please don't forget to like, comment, and share this video, and follow or subscribe wherever you are seeing this. Have a great week, and remember, guys, there's only one thing in life that makes a difference, and that's action. Thanks a lot. Bye for now.